Hi, my name is Ted Brodheim, and I'm uh, the Director of Vertical Markets at uh, Samsung. Uh, we have a tremendous focus on education, and I myself have a tremendous passion for education. I ran uh, technology for New York City public schools uh, during the Bloomberg administration, and then uh, was the Chief Operating Officer of ePals for many years after that. I spent a lot of time uh, in the last decade or so focusing on the use of technology in the classroom. One of my biggest observations is that we ask a lot of our teachers and we ask a lot of our students, but we haven't really given them the tools and the techniques to make themselves a lot more efficient and a lot more effective. And I think technology is going to play a tremendous role in that going forward. One of the things I particularly like about what's happened at Samsung is how we're bringing a lot of those tools and a lot of those resources to bear. One of the things that I saw when I was in New York City is just the amount of time the teachers spend trying to manage classrooms, manage content, control and coordinate things that are happening in the classroom, and those things are hard. I very much believe that as the tools and the technology get better, we're going to be able to give back a lot of time to teachers, and that's going to give them more time to focus on their students, more time to do individualized education. Now, I know people use the phrase individualized education a lot, and it has a lot of different meanings to different people, but ultimately when you speak to teachers and you speak to the really good teachers, they're doing that on their own and they're thinking about how to break things apart and how to reach students either in small groups or at an individual level. But time becomes the biggest pressure and finding the right content are some of the things that hold them back. By using technology in the right ways and by moving into one-to-one -one programs and by having better content resources, better content repositories, we're seeing some really great improvements across the board. I read a statistic somewhere that teachers spend on average two to three hours a week just searching for content alone. And we know that that's time that could probably be better spent elsewhere. We're also beginning to see with students who have really grown up using technology, how their involvement in the classroom changes very dramatically once they begin to get engaged with technology, get engaged with tools, and get engaged with the collaborative environment that we all want people to operate in. We're seeing more and more as the adoption of these tools kick in that the partnerships with software providers and the partnerships with content providers are really beginning to add to the whole value that the technology brings into the classroom. Then there's the other side of the equation, which is the data we can collect and the information we can learn about students and how students operate, how students learn, and what really works with individual students. And collecting that data, which of course has to be done in a safe, secure way, but nonetheless, once you've got all that data in place, you can really begin to make some very dramatic conclusions about how to approach individualized learning, how to approach students, and how teachers themselves should change some of their classroom practices. We've seen a lot of movement in the country towards one-to-one -one programs. And I think a lot of what has been stalling them has been just the difficulty in actually implementing the technology, getting the devices to work, getting them into the hands of the students uh, in an easy and straightforward fashion. And what I've been seeing, particularly at my time in Samsung, is how nicely that's been changing. Uh, some of the new devices that are coming out are much, much easier to use, easier for students to set up, and really bringing down the total cost of ownership across the entire ecosystem that the schools have to operate and run. We're beginning to see a lot of improvement in student achievement as students begin to get more and more engaged with the technology and more and more engaged with how the content itself is being developed. And the record keeping and the tracking that go along with that plays very, very well into how we want schools to continue to grow and develop. As state standards continue to improve and the assessments continue to improve, we also expect a lot more of that to move online. And it's going to make it a better environment, both for teachers and students, in terms of recording the information they need and actually capturing the results of the assessments and figuring out how to use them in a way going forward. One of the examples that we like to talk about is the results that we saw in Memphis City Schools, where they went into a school uh, which was economically disadvantaged, very, very low attendance, very, very low engagement. 
And by implementing a one-to-one -one program there, they were able to adjust many of the things that were troubling the school. Particularly in math, they saw tremendous improvement, both in terms of student engagement, uh, student involvement in the subject. One of the unexpected areas was student attendance. While the math scores went up as students got more engaged, they discovered overall attendance at the school increased very dramatically. And when we went back and looked at it and asked why did this happen, what were some of the things that changed, the students and the teachers all pointed to the engagement of technology in the classroom. We really believe that as we see more and more of these programs going forward, that we're going to see benefits beyond just how students do on standardized tests, beyond their levels of learning, but we're also going to see changes in attendance, changes in attendance, just changes in how students operate as groups. There's also a lot of evidence that as students work more collaboratively together, some of the interpersonal issues that students have to grapple with, particularly in middle school, begin to diminish as students get to know each other more as team contributors as opposed to individual members in a classroom. We've seen, certainly in New York City, areas of instance of violence go down in some of these schools as we've been able to get the students to get more and more engaged going forward. So I really believe that we're on the cusp of a big change in technology and on the cusp of how easy it will be for teachers to be, get, to be able to use these tools in the classroom. And with that, we're going to be able to change teaching practices, we're going to be able to change learning practices, and we're going to see the kind of results in the education system that we've been looking for for a long time.